My name is Winter. This is how it works. I would love to meet new people. I'm 17. You're 17 years old. So these guys would try to have sex with you? Yeah. Did they know that you were 13? No. Men buying girls barely into their teens online. Would you say they were uh, 14, 15? I don't know. You don't know. The sex trade has moved off of the streets and onto the web, and the girls are getting younger and younger. She's a child. It's disgusting. This is how the girl next door gets sold. Las Vegas, Nevada. 35 million Americans come here every year. It's a non-stop party out on the strip, but if you look past the carefully marketed glitz, you're gonna find one of America's dirty little secrets. $89, huh? Teenage girls, some barely past puberty, routinely bought and sold for the pleasure of grown men. And every year, hundreds end up right here at the Clark County Juvenile Detention Facility. How many 13-year-olds do you usually see? A few. They, every once in a while, we get 11, 12, and 13-year-olds. So we're just heading back to the holding room where these girls stay while they wait for the judge to call them and hear their case. How you doing? Uh, this this Hi, is Amber. Amber. Where's everyone from? Chicago. And you? Sure. From Detroit. And Washington State. Washington State. So no one here is from Las Vegas. This is called a belly chain, and all the girls have these around them. This is everyday life. I gotta deal with it. This is where we first meet 13-year-old Selena. Just another girl next door turned into a product, sold by pimps, used by men. Backpage.com? Yeah, I was at Backpage.com, and I went on the track. I, um, all that, I did all that stuff. How old were you? 12? 12? Yeah. She was caught in a casino by undercover police and locked up. According to the law, Selena is a sex trafficking victim, not a criminal. But like most underage girls who are sex trafficked, she has a history of running away from home. And that's a dangerous thing in cities across America where pimps are always looking out for girls who are out on the streets alone. Here at least, she's safe. What is it like when you're all alone in your room, in, in your cell? It makes you think a lot and you get real depressed, like real depressed. So I just like want to cry. I'm like, I cannot believe I'm in here. Like I always told myself I never get locked up and now here I am locked up. Selena moved here with her mom from Detroit three years ago. When did you start noticing that there's a problem? I think it, she was about, she was 11. You know, little, little things that, you know, a cigarette, a joint, some beer that you think is just going to pass and then it just didn't pass. She did great in sixth grade, excellent, A's, B's. And then by the end of seventh grade, it's just the crowd that she was hanging around with and just her whole attitude went, her schoolwork went. Then Selena started running away. Me and my mom got in a fight and I was like, wait, I'm leaving. And she was like, okay, and I left. So you and your mom got in a fight, you ran away, you were walking down near the Vegas Strip and some guy pulls up. Yeah, I was at the bus stop and then he said, oh, do you need a ride? And I was like, yeah, I do. How much did you like this guy? I liked him a lot. Like I was like, like straight up obsessed, not obsessed, but I was like, oh my God, like, he's so cute. And like, it wasn't like, oh, bitch, go get me money. I wasn't like that at first, but then it got like that. She's an absolute ham. Yeah. She is. They live in a suburb outside Las Vegas. And Selena's mother is a middle school teacher. This is her when she was little. Look how adorable she was. It's just little things that she got along the way. This is her little Bible thing from Bible school. This is her little angel doll. So it's just little things that she has. Who's Vinny? She said, rest in peace, Vinny. I don't even know. You don't even know who no. he is? Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Richie? No. She's got a heart next to him. No. What do you know about what's been happening to your daughter on the streets? I don't. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know what's happening. I only know what she tells me, and she doesn't really tell me anything. You think she's worried if she told you that you might be really upset with her. I think she's embarrassed, to be honest, because I've told her, you know, somebody's going to give you something of too many pills or whatever, and they're going to use you for what they want to use you for, and you're done for. Her mother sent Selena to therapist, tried tough love, but nothing has worked. Selena's mom is certain that if she comes home again, she'll run. 
She wants to leave so bad that it becomes like a struggle. A couple times before, I'm like, you are not leaving. And you, this is the middle of nowhere. Like, how do you get anywhere? So I followed her in my car. She like just sped across to the next stop and she was gone that fast. Selena was sold by a man and a woman over the website Backpage.com for the standard rate of 300 bucks an hour, 150 for the half. Did you ever want to run away and go back home and see your mom or call the police or someone to help you? If I ran away, I was going to get killed. And if I told the cops, I was going to get killed. Even the littlest things could have got me killed. The littlest mm -hmm. things, they could get anybody killed. And the guys that call you, how, how old are they? You don't, you don't know until they walk through the door. You walk through their door like, they could sound like they were like 21. You walk in, they're like old and disgusting. Did it make you feel kind of disgusting? It made me feel, oh, it made me feel so nasty. I would just want to shower and just like, oh, it's so disgusting. And it never made me feel pretty not one time. And at this point, how many guys were you seeing a day? Mm -hmm. At th that point, like five, four. Four or five guys a day. But Selena is hardly alone. There are hundreds of thousands of girls just like her across America. And for the first time in the long history of the oldest profession, there's a powerful new tool for people who seek profit or pleasure from underage girls, the internet. Crystal, Samantha, Destiny. Undetected, out of sight, and happening every day in every corner of America. So you pick up the phone, you find a girl you like on Backpage.com, call her and meet with her. How long does that usually take? 30 minutes. So you can get a girl as quick as you could get a pizza? Yeah. Does anyone uh, need a mask? Does everyone have one? We're giving these guys ski masks to conceal their identities. Here you go. There you go. Over here. All right. These men have pled guilty to soliciting prostitutes. None of them pleaded guilty to soliciting a minor. They're attending John School here in Nashville, Tennessee, in order to wipe their records clean. They're going to spend eight hours in class learning about STDs, the effects of prostitution on the community, and the risk of prison time if they get caught again. Raise your hand if you're in your 20s. So we have one, two, 30s, 40s, 50 years old. Okay, we got one, two, three, 60s, 70s, one. Anyone 80s? One. They're everybody. They are rich, poor, medium income. They are every ethnicity. They're married, single, divorced. It is the most diverse crowd I've ever seen for any type of crime that there is. Antoinette Welch is an assistant district attorney for Davidson County, Tennessee. She used to be a police officer who spent almost a decade out on the streets undercover, posing as a prostitute, busting Johns. A lot of these girls that are being pimped out on the internet now are underage girls. By law, they are children. Y'all better be real careful if you decide to do it again, because I guarantee you're going to eventually get some underage girl and you're going to get popped for it. And when you're convicted, you'll be on the sex registry for the rest of your life. Think about that. How many of you guys are married? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Could you just say one word that describes what you do for a living? Computer programmer. Computer programmer? Auto mechanic. Auto mechanic? Trucking. Trucking. Landscaper. Landscaper? Construction. Construction? Retired. Retired. Transport. Transport. Forklift operator. Forklift operator. Okay. Computer. Computers. Computer programmer. Sure. A third of the men in this room were caught buying a prostitute on the online classified site Backpage.com. How? What exactly do you do? Do you do it from your living room, from work, and then from your cell phone? You you can actually surf Backpage on your cell phone. And and how many times a week? Two or three. If you don't mind me asking, sir, do you have a family? Yeah. Do, do they know that no. they, they don't know? But I want those parts inside to be He's a businessman in his 50s. He's married and he has kids. 
when some people watch this interview, they're going to be really upset with you. How, how can this guy pay for sex? How can he buy women like commodities? What would you say to that? I feel like I have an addiction. To sex? Yes. I think it's an escape, and there's no strings attached. So how long does it take you? Say you pick up the phone, you find a girl you like on Backpage.com, call her and meet with her. How long does that usually take? 30 minutes. So you can get a girl as quick as you could get a pizza? Yeah. Well, Backpage tells us that the girls posting under the escort section aren't selling sex. What do you say to that? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. What are they selling then? We are on Dickerson Road. This is a known area of prostitution. So this is the track of Nashville, Dickerson Road. Dickerson Road, yes. Kenny Baker is program director for the John School. Over the years, have you seen more or less girls out here walking the track? You know, as times change and the technology moves forward, we're seeing less street level prostitution and we're seeing more of the stuff on Backpage. So they're really using the web a lot more. 13-year-old Selena's pimp sold her to men on Backpage.com out of cheap hotel rooms near Las Vegas. We snuck in some contraband, a uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> so look at, look at that face. <laughs> so I'm it real quick so she doesn't get in trouble. <laughs> Did they know that you were 13? No, no. Well, the guy I was with at the time told me to tell everybody that I was 19 or 18, so I did. So this guy you were with, was he your pimp? Yeah. Did any guy ever say to you, you know what, you look like you you might not be 18, come on, what's your real age? No, because they didn't care. They didn't care if I was, even if I was like five years old, they wouldn't care because they're having sex with somebody. So they wouldn't care. And this is her in the D.A.R.E. program. Who would have guessed? What would you say to these guys who are um, paying for sex with, with your daughter? It's disgusting. I, I think the whole, I think our whole society is so out of control with accepting this and saying that it's okay and you know, it is what it is. She's a child. Did you ever suspect that uh, any of the girls that, that you found uh, were underage and lied about their age? Yes. Did you find those girls on Backpage.com? Yes. Mm -hmm. And by being underage, would you say they were uh, 14, 15? I don't know. You don't know? They're only thinking about themselves and not about anything else, only their immediate needs. And not, so not about these girls? No, they're not even, no, that's a, it's just an object. Well, I mean, I, I believe the, that Backpage is responsible for this. I mean, again, it, it should be taken away. The whole thing doesn't have to just be gone. Just the escort section? Yeah, the escort section, the, the adult section should be gone. So you're saying Backpage just normalizes the whole process? Yes, yes. You go on, you buy furniture, you yeah. find a job, you yes. buy a girl. Yes. Yes. Coming up. Young, sweet, bubbly. All things could indicate she's underage. Do these websites know what's going on? Do they care? What are you guys doing to protect these girls? closely at these escort ads on the internet classified site backpage.com. Can you tell how old these girls are? Out of a, dream, I was a, child. a couple months ago, Selena's face was on the front of one of these online ads. Her pimp was forcing her to sell her 13-year-old body to strange men for sex. So this guy, your pimp, what happened if you hid some of the money? Then I would get out of my ass, but he would beat you? Yeah. Selena's real father has been absent from her life. She says that keeps her up at night, writing songs about the dad she doesn't know. Don't look at me. Close your eyes. <laughs> I'm not looking at <laughs> you. Okay. Okay, go. 
of a house daddy daughter dances that i had to go to alone it just made me groan you wrote that yeah that's really impressive really who did you write that about my dad about your dad pimps across america prey on girls like selena luring them in with gifts and love and then selling them for sex online and it's become more profitable than ever. The internet is plastered with lies, but this is one of the boldest, the term escort. Websites like Backpage.com that advertise escorts make it clear that the site is not to be used by anyone offering, quote, sexual favors for money. But come on, we all know what's often being sold here is sex. What would happen when, when guys responded to your ads on Backpage? I was in Motel 6, so they were gonna be ad. How many guys a day would you see? Uh, I don't know, it depended on the day, like sometimes like two or three or four. Last year, we investigated the internet site Craigslist. Victims advocates called Craigslist Adult Services Section the Walmart of child sex trafficking. We posted an ad to see what was up. So I want to show you how easy it is for these pimps to use Craigslist to sell their girls. We're suggesting with our ad that we could possibly be underage with words like sweet, innocent, new girl in town. This could be an ad for an underage girl. So we're going to see what kind of calls we get. And when the calls came in, there was no question what these guys wanted. Yeah, this is Ashley. 200. I, I do both. Oh, we have another call. Hello. Because I was wondering, um, how much will the jump? Excuse me? Uh, how much will the jump? <laughs> 200. What, what do you mean, is everything covered? Maybe I'd go 150? Excuse me? We can discuss that when you get here. <laughs> Look at the photo on this one. And there's another big lie when it comes to online sex ads, and that's age. If an ad says a girl is, say, 13, it's going to be immediately banned. So pimps sell the girls using code words like young, fresh, innocent. When we took an ad that was loaded with code words to Craigslist founder, Craig Newmark, he was unable to answer a simple question. I mean, what do you think she's selling in her bra and underwear? A dinner date? I've never, I don't know what this is. What are you guys doing to protect these girls? Our investigation helped spark a national conversation and outrage. Attorneys general from uh, all across the nation sent this letter out to Craigslist. They are calling on Craigslist to completely shut down the adult services sections. Just weeks later... Over the weekend, Craigslist shut down its adult services section, slapping a censored label in its place on its website. But when Craigslist shut down the adult services